Now a remarkable story about a group of teenagers in the vast Alaskan wilderness, 350 miles northwest of Anchorage. You might think that teens so isolated would have a hard time staying put and staying out of trouble. Well, not this group. We sent NBC's Bob Dotson to find them. Oh my gosh! Eight teens are testing themselves on a mountain near Antioch, Alaska. Rock! In one of the most remote places on Earth. The weight on the rope, not on your feet. Come on. If they're injured, down. the closest hospital bounce is 150 down. miles away. Lean way back and bounce. Only four of those miles have roads. I'm so scared. Oh. Okay. Lean way back, way back. Terrified, but on a quest. Doing good. <laughs> These Eskimo and Inuit <laughs> Indians <laughs> call themselves <laughs> dragon slayers. <laughs> You did it. You did it. Okay. Um, Pete Brown, the fire chief of their village, knows okay, um, this is, is deadly serious. The words, uh, I can't, are not allowed. Because what they no. learn here down. saves lives. These kids, the youngest is just 13, volunteer to serve on the only emergency medical team in 10,000 square miles. Last winter, their rope training helped them get Patty Yaska's sick grandmother to a hospital. It was just there, it was like fate, just like it was meant to be. Why aren't adults on this rescue unit? Uh, originally, of course, there were, but we went from uh, approximately 20 calls a year, and then it jumped up to 450 calls the next year. What do you, what do you got? 96, pulse 87. An average of more than one a day. Too many for parents with families and jobs. The Dragon Slayers live in a poor village that can't afford to pay for a rescue team. Just 600 people. Some still survive on fishing and hunting. The center point where they all meet is called the what? Their teacher, Dave LaMaster, wasn't too happy about letting kids cut class. Until one day, the rescue pager sounded and Pete's daughter, Mariah, screamed. Like, oh my God, the principal just fell. and uh, He just fell cold on the floor. By the time the ambulance got here, they had already had him stabilized. And now? like the Ghostbusters. Who are you going to call? The Dragon Slayers cover a wilderness the size of Maryland. 3,000 people in 14 villages. They began about a decade ago. One of Pete's sons was walking home from the gym when a driver knocked him into a snowdrift, breaking his legs and crushing his hands. Antioch had no emergency medical team back then, so the boy had to lie in the snow for 45 minutes before help arrived. The next day, Pete started teaching medical trauma classes. Pain, the pain from a heart attack is an overwhelming pain. Three years later, the Dragon Slayers were chosen the best ambulance service in Alaska. We did it without an ambulance. Uh, we grabbed the first pickup truck we could find. Or float plane, or boat, or snowmobile, to save hundreds of lives. Um, we take care of everybody. Including themselves. In November of 2000, you had some personal troubles. Dragon Slayer April Kamaroff swallowed two handfuls of Tylenol. It was like a cry for help. Patty Yaska found her and quickly gathered the other Dragon Slayers to their friend's side. They show me that people really do care about me. Not only did they save her life, they helped her turn it around. I love you guys so much. April now has a new job in the village clinic, studying to be an Antioch nurse. For today, Bob Dotson, NBC News, in the Alaskan wilderness. Oh, sounds like nice a story. Big yeah, what a great program. They should yeah. do that maybe in other communities. Wouldn't that be nice? But especially needed here, I guess. In trouble and you see a 13-year-old kid respond in an ambulance, your first thought might be, and then all of a sudden you think, what are my alternatives? Right, exactly. <laughs> you know. But they look like they know what they're doing, which yeah. is the bottom line, helping right. people. Still to come, one week in America captured in photographs. Plus love letters from Ann Landers. And the story of a hunter who turned into a bear. Fact or fiction. Your local news. <laughs>